Where is your spinal pain coming from? Well, three common culprits are number one, pinched nerves or sciatica. Number two, the small facet joints that are paired on either side of your spine at every level of your spine from your neck down to your tailbone. And number three, the two large sacroiliac or SI joints at the bottom of your spine. Sometimes your pain is coming from just one of these areas, but frequently we find that there's more than one contributor. And figuring out spinal pain is tough because all these areas can refer pain into similar parts of your body. If you're having spine pain or neck or back pain, it's important for you to familiarize yourself with these three culprits because in doing so, you can become a better participant in your treatment. Today, let's look at the facet joint injection. This is a view of the back of your spine, the center of your spine, the bumps you feel when you run your hand down the center of your spine is here. The facet joints are here. They are paired on either side of the middle of your spine from your head all the way to the bottom of your spine. It's a major area where the backbones of your spine communicate with each other from above and below. This particular image is of your lumbar or low back facet joints because the joints are vertically oriented. In your neck or cervical spine, these joints are horizontal, which allows your neck to rotate more freely. Here's a side view of the spine showing the joint on the left side of the spine. So there are three points of contact between each vertebral body or backbone. The first point of contact is through the disc and contacts two and three are through the left and right facet joints. These joints can cause pain in areas of your neck, upper back, and lower back but it can be confusing because these are also common areas for pain to be referred from the discs of your spine or your sacroiliac joints in the case of your lower back. Pain from these joints has traditionally been treated with a steroid injection or a procedure called a rhizotomy in which the tiny nerves to these joints are deactivated for a few months either using heat or by freezing them. However, recently we have discovered platelet-rich plasma is a good alternative to steroids to heal these areas using cells from your own body.